Welcome to the Nystead vlog. Today we are headed to Portland um, and then we'll be getting on a plane tomorrow to go to town. Whoop whoop! Whoop whoop! Maui! Yay! Looking very much forward to this. How was you guys this night's sleep? Don't even talk about it. Apparently I snore. Who knew? Welcome to Maui. Yeah, we made it. How was the plane ride? It was long, long. but it was, it was all right. All right, got a rental car. We've got a sunroof, we've got a sunroof. <laughs> How was that flight? I didn't like it. I was praying to every God, non-God, BTS that I knew. Turbulence, Turbulence. sucks. Yeah. How are those chips? Good. This is breakfast, lunch, and afternoon snack. I'll go right into one right now. Okay. We're checking in for our condo at the Whaler. Nystead. N E I S. Thank you so much. Your name tag's upside down. I take oh, yeah. care of each other. Yes. <laughs> Have a good day. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. The pride. No. <laughs> it's amazing. Now we were here. Gorgeous. What do you think? I really like the wallpaper. How about the view? Oh, yeah. This is nice. He caught a fish. Oh, it's a good size fish for him. No, right That's so cool. Yeah. We are getting ready to go to our uh, luau today. Hello. You're about to get a set of these nuts draped over your neck. Having poi, mai tais, virgin pina coladas, and bread. sweet Hawaiian bread. rolls. How does bread go with these nuts? <laughs> Well, good evening, friends. We're at the Sheraton on Maui in Lahaina, and we are at the Nui Nui Luau. We're being well taken care of. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a day, technically full 24 hours now here, and that's our little piggy over there getting cooking over in the sand. And there is um, San Diego. <laughs> so there's Mr. Piggy, right there. And that is gonna be my dinner. Water in their in your drink, they said. The wind won't blow it over, they said. <laughs> oh, but it's Maui wind, so it's nice wind. 
Chad and Karen are having a great time. Chad's gonna get his ass kicked by some karate team. I'm uh, I said I was a lacrosse player that goes to a D2 school, you know. And you get your ass kicked. I think they're, go they're, going they're gonna go pro in lacrosse. And Karen has everything to complain about. Yep. <laughs> and there's Corey. Just the happy drunk. <laughs> You're not drunk. Just the happy guy. You're the happy guy. The happy, happy, happy guy. guy. Just, Just the happy, 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 happy guy. guy. All right, a little sweet potato, <clears throat> fried rice, noodles. Oh, the fish. The fish may have been the best part of the whole deal. Some teriyaki beef and Kahlua pork. What was your favorite? Probably the pulled pork. Mm. Delicious. I, I Pretty amazing sunset. I once watched an entire national finals rodeo through a lady's iPad who sat in front of me. Just like this lady. What'd you think? I had a lot of fun, actually. Surprisingly, I did. Surprisingly? I don't really like going out to places anymore. <laughs> um, I'm very comfortable in the comfort of my own space. <laughs> but yeah. this is actually this is actually really nice. And my throat is raw from cheering. From cheering? I know that doesn't usually happen. I know it's good. Unless we're at Roundup speaking. Right? Of it was a lot like Happy Canyon, right? It was. Yeah. It was really cool. It was really, really cool. Really I, cool. I recommend. I do recommend. Okay. I agree. Yep. Thumbs up. But for real it was like really cool. It was it was really, really cool. <laughs> I have to pee. You have to pee? Did you I don't her? think. Yeah, I don't think I can do the interview because I have to. You don't think you can do the interview? No. Nope. How was it? How was I the mean, show? If you want to run with me. How was the show? It was good. How are you gonna get in there with no key? I mean. <laughs> okay, what'd you guys think? It was wonderful. Good show. Great show. It was a good show. Your hula dancing was phenomenal. I agree, my <laughs> hula dancing was pretty good. Your hips. I got hips that don't lie. They don't lie. There's a rainbow. It's super windy outside, but there's a rainbow. It's our first attempt to get in Leilani's for the weekend. For the week. Yep. Because we've been talking it up a lot. 
Yeah. You guys I excited? hope it's good. I hope it's good. Oh, not a question. Okay, we're at Leilani's. We said that we would eat in the bar because it's a busy place. So we are literally, literally in the bar. Eating at the bar. But the sunrise is that way somewhere. Not sure where. <laughs> we learned a valuable lesson today. <laughs> okay, so we ordered a coconut tr shrimp. We ordered a coconut shrimp appetizer. <laughs> We, you okay? <laughs> we ordered a coconut shrimp appetizer and it came with a coconut curry dipping sauce. So good. It is, I told the gentleman at the bar that I would love to brush my teeth with it. It is so good. <laughs> there we have it. There's it our toothpaste so... for tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh. Hey, I will be honest with you though. Mm. When you uh, sit down to eat, sitting next to Lefty kind of sucks. I'm like three feet away from my food. Because I can't get to it. Because this bar. Don't lean tiny. back. Don't lean back. Andre, I think so. I'm going to fall. I hope you do. How are the Kalua pork tacos? Oh, my Lord. So good. It tastes like the pork they cooked underground last night at our luau. It is the same pork, same pig. Same pig? From last night. Ah, I hope so. <laughs> All right, we got a pro tip. The Hanakawai Okazuya Delicatessen, where we're gonna get a local plate. Jake and I are here, the girls stayed back at the hotel. Yep. We're gonna get a local plate here and, and tell you what we think. I, I think I'm going loco moku. Jake doesn't know. No, we're gonna bring coconut shrimp home for sure. So yeah. we'll let you know how it goes. Okay, loco moku. Coconut shrimp. What are you having? It's like a crispy onion burger. Crispy onion burger. And then Lainey got a hamburger. Thank you to Jane and Steve Hill for the rest of well, the, what was it? Recommendation. Yeah, well, yeah, it was a recommendation. It was like a little, it wasn't a cafe. It was like a- It's like a little deli kind of del thing. Yeah, thank it's you. Really cool. Thank you, Hills. All right, so where does that burger rank? And, and tell us about your burger scale. Okay. <laughs> so, um, is it in Corvallis? Is Helvetia? No. Hillsborough. Hillsborough. Okay, so Helvetia Tavern in Hillsboro makes the best burgers. Like, my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, the rank system is when I have the Helvetia Tavern burger, it created a whole new chart like that's how good it was so i would say that a helvetia tavern burger is like a silk not well not necessarily silk but like 24 karat gold threaded persian rug on a super rich person's like palace sort of like floor um and the burger that i had last night at leilani's is the sterling silver microwave in the same household. Now this burger, I would com compare it to, um, was it was it the Ford cars? 
that like started mass producing for everybody to own. Yeah, something that you would, that is an, a necessity to devour, absolutely, and everyone should try it, but I, I wouldn't rank it at the same sort of luxury as the others, but like it's, it's got its own separate like little spot, like off to the side. And you also had a burger. What was your burger? It was pretty good. It was a crispy onion burger. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty Where good. Where does it rank on Jake's scale? Mm. I, don't, I don't have a scale. Okay. But it was it was pretty good. It was good. Coconut shrimp. Oh, really good. Really good. Not as good as Leilani's Thai coconut curry. Oh. sauce from the gods mm -hmm. with the but it was definitely Safeway brand dipping sauce amazing the loco moco was really good I'd eat it again we are on our way to Maale Harbor to jump on the Calypso for a dinner cruise it's bright sunny we're all milky white so we'll see how this goes did everybody put on sunscreen no. How about you? Boop, boop. No. You? No. No, that's okay. Yeah. You guys should be just fine. I wouldn't worry at all. All right, we made it to the harbor. We're gonna go pay to park. Looks kind of nice, huh? Yeah. So much. Okay. How was the prime rib? It's good. Good. You have a, an opinion on the ribs? You know, um, I thoroughly enjoyed them if you can't tell because there's nothing left on the bone. They were, and the mashed potatoes finished it off. They were delicious. Okay. Yeah, there are. I don't know if you can hear this, but we're up here on the, the windy deck. Oh wait, it's not that windy. was right. Tucked in right here in this little bay and the wind just died down. Ah. Ah. Everybody here has seen my underwear, but I don't care. We'll never see them again. <laughs> <laughs> and they may have seen my man boobs too. <laughs> And Jake's rubbed raw nipples. Yeah. <laughs> the third windiest harbor in the world. I wonder second. what second windiest. Second. I wonder windiest. what the first one is. I don't know. It's a All windy son is, of a gun. It is. Woo! Wee! Goodness gracious! I finally got the first time to like actually wear a lip gloss <laughs> without a mask, and wow, my hair is stuck to it. <laughs> <laughs> It was a good trip, though. It was wonderful. Jake's doing a little bit of boogie boarding. Waiting for a good wave to come. Oh, boy. Oh, you missed that one. Oh, that one fizzled. I was just kidding. Oh, no, there he goes. <laughs> oh, here we go again. No. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I kicked him right up there. Nice. Today's adventure, we're headed to where Andrea and I got engaged. Hopefully the porta potty is still there. Then we're gonna go down, show the kids um, Kihei and Wailea. Maybe make it down to McKenna, we'll see. A um, little bit of shopping and then probably back to our place for relaxation, pool, beach, don't know. A lot of possibilities. Hooey hooey for breakfast was amazing. It was beautiful location, gorgeous right on the beach. It was very, very nice. 
How are your pancakes, guys? Delicious. So good. Good. The fried potatoes were also good. Okay. We didn't get much video of the meal. We were too hungry, ate it way too fast. It happens. We made it to Kihei to St. Teresa's Church where we got engaged. And what do we find but a giant cock right here. It's Hey Hey. Hello, Hey Hey. This is where we got engaged this right here. This is where we got engaged. Actually, Andre likes to tell the story we got engaged by a porta potty. We did. And just gonna say, they still have it. It's still here. Here's the porta potty. Three of the party boats have been Red pretty low key tonight. They're well, really low key. Put in your two initials. Wonder what's driving that. What do you think, honey? I think um, it's got to be the motion of the ocean. No, normally it's mm. the complete shit show from yeah. all of them, and it's very. It's been fun to watch drunk people get off these boats. And I don't know if it's going to show up, but there's a guy hauling up a boatload of flip flops. And they're going to get dropped on the beach. Yeah, there they are. And now come get your flip flops. Well, the sunset was... It wasn't like top tier. It was beautiful. It's Maui. It was yeah. gorgeous, but it wasn't wasn't the extreme we've seen It was before. bathed in mediocrity. <laughs> no, it was not. For Maui. For Maui. <laughs> bathed in mediocrity. What? Well, they're not docking yet. I don't think they have enough room between the boats. I think that captain's a giant panty waist. He could slide right in there. Maybe there's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't want to pull in, obviously. Well, and the jockeying continues because here comes another Sea Maui boat behind him. <laughs> We've got the Sea Maui 3. And I can't quite make it out, but maybe the Sea Maui 2. Trilogy 5 doesn't have his navigation lights on. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Been watching a lot of Olympics coverage, so that's why you're getting the play-by-play -play announcer. Can't quite tell yet if Trilogy 5 has the starboard navigation lights on. <laughs> oh, and the Terralani 3 or 5, whatever number that is, getting ready to back out. Oh, but they've got to disembark one more drunk passenger. Here we go. We got to back up. This All right, the Sea Maui on the way in. Wide a crew on the Sea Maui tonight. We've seen boats with more, but for tonight, this one looks like it could be a winner. Wow. Not got a good folks angle. Camped Jeff. on the trampoline. Ooh, Jeff, not a good angle. Not a good angle at all. No, no. Coming in, let's hope he can get that turned around in time. We could have damage to one of those pontoons. Oh no. Now what we're looking at here is an expert captain. The C Maui 3 comes in perpendicular. We were worried. We were concerned. Perpendicular to the beach. And uh, yep, just very, very well done by the captain there. What we're going to see next is the flip-flop person. Here comes come, another scene Come way. running down the gangway. Oh, we got the Terralani and the Gemini. Real Ooh. close there. Real close, folks. <laughs> oh. Kind of made me nervous, but it looks like everything's okay. Again, expert captains. Okay, look how fast that beach. one. That's a Ooh. The Sea Maui, the Sea Maui is coming in hot. It is coming in coming hot. Coming in hot. Yeah. All right. Where are the flip-flops? Like I'm waiting for the flip-flop person. Oh, on the she sea got Maui her shoes. And disembarked oh. with her shoes in her hand. Maybe they are disembarking with their shoes. They are. They do it a little different at Sea Maui, folks. You get your shoes when you come off the boat. So there you go. Well, when you're booking your dinner cruise, maybe Sea Maui is the way to go. Because you know you're going to get your shoes. All right. It's really far north. Here, here. comes the Sea Maui, too. We don't normally see them up here at the Whaler. Usually they're down at Whaler's Village disembarking. Could be how Ooh, the waves are coming slight. in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And again, it looks like we've got a good landing. We were nervous, we were concerned. Sea Maui, too. <laughs> the Sea Maui, too. 
comes in a little smaller than the Sea Maui 3. Not as a good... You gotta give it a little bit more gas there, Captain. Not as good of a landing. No. Again, these folks are gonna disembark with their flip-flops. With Maui the oh, three. Check out the party. Sea Maui 3, we've got a little party going on now. Oh. Now what those folks oh, had a good gosh, time. Look. Oh, that's funny. This offload's going very well for the Sea Maui 3. The Sea Maui 2. Running through it. Clearly, those folks on the trampoline there don't want to get off. Nav lights running on all these boats now. I can tell which ones are the party ones, or the seems like the party one. Right. We don't really know how good of a time they had. We're no. just assuming. The Sea Maui 3's got the music pumping. Yes, it does. And their patrons are jumping. Really low key day today. We hung out at the beach. Did a little snorkeling. What do we got, buddy? Little party. How was your day? My day was good. Yeah? Yeah. Went down to the beach, boogie boarded a little bit. Pretty fun. Ooh. And then had a delicious burger. A delicious burger. Delicious. Good. A little windy today. Nice wind though. Gonna be it a good is. sunset. Epic. Were you just pruning flake flowers? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Yeah, I know. Gotta get the shot. Anything for the shot. Yep, that's right. Another good sunset. Yep. Nothing like that. Leaving early today. We're headed snorkeling out to Molokini. This uh, fine lady and I are ready to go. We are at the elevators on our way down. The children, however, are yeah. lagging. Huh. Here they come. Oh, good. They're here. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, early. Very. Too much. So. How are you doing? I'm very tired. Oh, boy. We better see a turtle, right? Yep. All right, we've arrived at the Calypso. Waiting in line to check in. The second windiest harbor in the world. It's gonna be so cold. When we get in the water, it's gonna be. I don't even, oh, here's I don't the even good want news. to think about it. Molokini Crater protects you from the wind. Well, it's still gonna be cold, like really cold. I don't think so. Um, because it's cold it's right be now, warm. it's gonna be cold in the water because the ocean water. I think it's gonna be warm. I think it's going to be warm. Yeah. I can't wait to laugh at you when you're wrong. <laughs> I will laugh. Is it Machiavellian? Machiavellian? Yeah. yeah. That's a big word, honey, I know. It's a big word. <laughs> Help. 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 Okay. All right, we're up on the top deck now. How is it? Little, little wavy. You know, wavy. moving a little bit. <laughs> How's your tummy? It's all right. It's all right. How's your tummy? Um, good. Good. Currently in a boat race. I think that guy's gonna win. Okay, tell the story. So, 
there, and it was just me and Lainey, because like, those two were sick. Because you guys are older, they got tired. They, they were sick. And then, um, and so I looked down, and this fish was pooping. So I looked at Lainey, and I was like, oh my god, that fish just pooped. And she was talking. You more gusto when I said it, but yeah, I kept <laughs> Like the next 10 minutes after that, I would keep like laughing because I kept thinking about it. So then water would go into my goggles and then I'd freak out. And um, so we had to swim Folks, in. Uh, just I about everybody on board. Laughing. I'm still just looking for yeah, the board party, fun, no. the care party. And All right. How was Molokini, buddy? It was fun. There's a lot of fish. A lot of fish? A lot of fish. I saw this random, it was like. His face was like it was flat, and its eyes were like up here, and it was flat. It was so weird. It looked like a rock, oh. but then it moved, and then it stopped. That's awesome. It was it was cool. Like a rock flounder or something. Right? Yeah. That fish just. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw a bunch of a puffer fish. Very cool. Yep. Um, I came up for air and this lady was like, and right above the anchor you'll see a white spotted guinea pepper fish or something like that. I don't know. I thought the anchor was really cool. I like the anchor system. I didn't make it all that long. Andrea and I got a little seasick. It was a little choppy out there. I was doing good until it started chopping me. And I was like, don't blow chunks, don't blow chunks. The whole way in, I was like, don't blow chunks, will fish eat them? What will happen? If I blow chunks, everyone's gonna see it. Don't blow, don't blow, don't blow. <laughs> I made it. That's kind of how I felt too. I, I thought I was gonna lose it. It was, it was choppy. It was really choppy. Between us and Valley, there was a dolphin. So, uh, does anybody have any dolphin questions? We get three, see it? We get three major types of dolphins out here. The bottlenose, which is the largest, physically the largest. They can get up to 900 pounds. 10 to 11 feet is pretty average for those guys. They're also the least social, so they have the smallest pod groups, pod sizes. We also get pantropical spotted dolphins. We get spinner dolphins. The pantropical spotted are medium sized and medium in their social behavior. They'll have 40 or 50 uh, individuals to a pod. And the spinner dolphin is our most social, but physically the smallest. So, we're, so we're at Turtle Town. Turtle Town, yeah. I did not. I thought this thing was supposed to last us into like four or five. I thought it was, so I was wrong. It's only 12 until uh, one. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Get to go back to the, back to the condo and eat food. Oh yeah. Think turtle town. Oh, their turtles were absolutely amazing. I love turtles. Second favorite animal. I saw the turtle and I was like, oh my gosh, that might be the cutest thing I've ever seen behind possums. Looks exactly like they do in the movies. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. You. Been to Molokini twice now. Boat ride's cool. <laughs> I don't think I need to ever go back. Snorkeling at Black Rock is way better. And I think I would drive down and go to Turtletown next time.
agree 100% black rock snorkeling is amazing. Nothing like snorkeling with a turtle though. Well, you gotta go to the turtle town. But I gotta say, the dolphins were pretty amazing too. Yeah. I would go oh see, so I would black rock and turd it. Turds. Oh <laughs> yeah. They're absolutely beautiful and amazing. I think uh, black rock snorkeling's great. Just go to the snorkel store, rent your gear, get the snorkel report every day and follow what they tell you. Oh, come on. Like, people are going to follow our advice. What are you doing? People follow our advice no. all the time. <laughs> Only with Russian scammers. Yes, with Russian scammers. I don't think that they would follow us for... For Maui advice? No. Absolutely they would. No, I think so. Yes. Kids. 100%. What? Your dad's talking like people are going to like watch our show. Okay, or hang on. We're people, in a very do. competitive game of air hockey right now. Okay. Competitive, I'm winning five <laughs> So there it is. There you go. Skip Molokini. Not a lot of fish there. Go to Black Rock. Way more fish. Choppy. Oh, gosh. Choppy. Skip the okay. boat ride that'll make you puke. Choppy. Oh. And then oh. <clears throat> drive down to McKenna Landing and go snorkel Turtle Town. That's my advice. Um, Mom and Jake are in there talking to the Gram, the Grammy. Um,. I just wanted to come out here to say that um, I forgot to laugh at dad um, regarding the water being cold when we went snorkeling and I just have to say it was freezing. It was freezing. It was. I didn't get to laugh though because I was looking at the fish poop that Jacob pointed out. Last sunset on Maui, buddy. Yep. That's sad. Uh-huh. Almost seven o'clock or seven o'clock? Seven o'clock on the dot. Seven o'clock on the dot. Sunset's been between right around ten after seven. All week. One of the benefits of being closer to the equator, I guess. You can time the sunsets pretty well. Well, you're on vacation. You got nothing to think about or worry about. That but helps too. That does help too. I think our last sunset here is going to be a pretty darn good one. Yeah, when your week consists of what time do you want to get in the water, what time do you want to nap, and when's the sunset, it's a good week. It is a good week. And when this is your view all week. No kidding. Not bad. I don't want to leave. My favorite was probably Turtle Town. Or Leilani's pork tacos. Get them. Did you have a favorite? Snorkeling Black Rock. The sunset the night of our luau. And turtles. Turtle tea. Turds. Turds, turds, turds. Hula Grill and Leilani's brought in the great um, order and pickup for us this week because restaurants are booked out like two months and it's like an hour and a half wait for restaurants here in Lahaina. So, um, being able to walk, what, 100 yards? Yeah. Literally, and then come back and sit on our deck and watch the sun set. Like that right there. Look at that. Woo. Goodbye, Kanapali. Wow. How was it? Yesterday, we went to a store to buy, to look at the stuff. And there was a necklace there that I really, really liked. 
and it was $50. The lady said, oh, it's $50. We went back today because I wanted to buy it and it's 91. What's up with that? I bought it, but. <laughs> Still, what's the point? Still, why? why? I feel cheated, but I don't because it's a good necklace. 